Hello everybody, today I'll be preparing one of our family favorite recipes which is Kima Upma. This is uh, mutton prepared in a very special way and added to the Upma. Well, normally people will not do this uh, but this is uh, prepared during um, when we have special events at home like anniversaries, birthday parties or uh, any sort of a special event. So first of all, to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and dry roast the semolina. And for this uh, recipe, I'm using Bansi Rava, which is a special sort of a semolina. It's not coarse, uh, it's a coarse ground semolina. It's not very fine, it's not ground very fine. So it's also a little bit yellow in color. Once I finish dry roasting it, I'm going to reserve it onto a plate. And then I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, start frying my meat that is about 200 grams of ground lamb meat i'm using uh in about two tablespoons of oil i'm just going to fry this uh lamb meat and allow the juices to release on its own and then i'm going to add uh, ginger garlic paste and also add a few spices and a uh, little bit of chili powder and allow the meat to cook so you may ask um if we do not have this particular semolina, then what do we add? Uh, you can definitely um, add uh, vermicelli to this recipe. I've already posted a recipe for vermicelli kima upma. And uh, you can also use the regular rava or the regular semolina and you can prepare it. As I said, uh, I've gone ahead and added chili powder, salt and I'm also going to add garam masala. And I'm just going to flavor this meat and uh, cook it down. So we're just going to add a little bit of water for the meat to cook and I'm going to cover this and allow this to cook. Uh, along with this meat, if you have some vegetables like uh, carrots, peas or uh, potatoes, you can add it right away. Uh, it, ha it also will cook along with the meat and it will combine and it will have a good taste and texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and add about one potato and about a cup cup of peas so I'm just going to go ahead and mix all of this cover this and allow this to cook so it'll take about 10 minutes time to cook once it cooks uh, the moisture in the meat will evaporate and the meat will uh, completely go dry and the oil will separate uh, to that level we need to cook the meat and just reserve it now I'm just going to go ahead and prepare the upma for the upma, I've added about uh, 4 tablespoons of uh, oil and 2 tablespoons of ghee. We do require a lot of ghee and oil for this recipe. You can reduce the amount of ghee and oil if you do not want. And uh, I've gone ahead and added dry spices and onion. Uh, dry spices, I've added bay leaf, cinnamon, cardamom um, and cloves. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stir fry all of this. Um, I've added about 1 large onion and uh, we'll start frying that out and the onion needs to turn l into transparent and uh, at that point I'm just going to go ahead and add um, slit chilies, green chilies and give it a good stir and start frying the onions and the chilies this will take roughly about five minutes or so and then uh, I've kept the flame on medium flame a lot of people have asked me uh, what flame do you set your stove on since it's a gas stove I've place it on a medium flame and then uh, I've gone ahead and added about one tomato tomato adding tomato is optional it's up to you you can also add tomato puree if you wish to you can add tomato but some people do not add tomato to upma so you can leave that out uh, if you add tomato it will have that moist and a good texture and taste to the upma it will give that good texture and taste so that's the reason we add tomato uh, then we're just going to go ahead and add an extra tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic paste and just give it a fry. This is for the upma I'm preparing. And uh, dry roasting semolina helps a lot. Uh, the semolina will remain separated. It won't go uh, gloopy. So it will remain uh, sort of separated and it won't uh, you know, clump up fast. So it will have a very good taste and texture if you dry roast the semolina. This is one tip I can give you. Then I'm just going to go ahead and add some uh, salt and uh, 
hot water to the semolina. Uh, all the measurements and the recipe in detail is on my blog. Blog link will be posted in the description box below. Do visit my blog for the recipe in detail along with measurements. A lot of people have been asking me what measure you've added, what is the water measure, what is the semolina measure, or what is the rice measure you've added in the recipe. Do visit my blog for the recipe. This is just a demo I'm doing. Now once I finish adding the water, I'm just going to constantly stir this and uh, just before it cooks, we're just going to go ahead and add uh, the meat that I cooked earlier and give it a good stir. Uh, this will take roughly about uh, 10 minutes to cook and uh, the entire recipe will be done in 10 to 20 minutes. Now normally a lot of people will not agree with me but this is a tip my mother gave me and my mother follows this religiously uh, she loves adding a cup of milk to the semolina since it gives a good taste and texture to the semolina and it cooks fast it also enhances the taste a lot so that's the reason she added about one cup of milk in it and uh, then we've added the uh, cooked meat and we're just going to give this a good stir and Trust me, in no time this will cook fast. You just need to cover this and uh, you need to garnish it with some mint and coriander. Add some lime juice and serve it up. The recipe is awesome for any birthday parties or anniversaries. And do try this recipe. It's really good. All the links are posted in the description box below this video. I also have a Tamil channel. Uh, all the recipes posted here are translated in my Tamil language, that is my native language. And I'll post a link for that in the description box below. If you do wish to follow me on Facebook, the link is in the description box below this video. I will see you soon with the next recipe. Once this uh, semolina is covered and it's cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and serve it. It's simple as that. You can serve it with raita or fried egg. And I'm just going to get back with a new recipe again. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.